expect from DJU going into year three? We all know that he is going to have to have a big year ahead, but do you think that he can translate to the next spot with ease? Well, here's the thing. You're not asking DJ Uingale, who, by the way, is going into his third team, to be the elite playmaker. You're not asking him to take over games. What you're asking him to do is mitigate the flaws. There is an offense still in place. Like, yeah, you lose Keon Coleman and Trey Benson, and you lose a couple of other players, but Mike Norvell, he gets a lot of credit from most fans about what he does in the transfer portal. Let's just go ahead and call a buck a buck. If Lane Kiffin is the portal king, Mike Norvell is the portal prince. He 100% is the portal prince because if he landed Rodell Williams, he brings over Malik Benson, who was one of the best Juco wide receivers and just couldn't get on the field at Alabama. So the talent's there. They have the offensive line still. They have, I think, the play calling down. And now you're asking, hey, the the things that worked for you at Clemson and the things that worked for you at at Oregon State, combine those two together and just have that. Because if we have other talent around us, they're in a really good spot to still be one of the best teams in the ACC. And the ACC still, in my opinion, is wide open. Like, I love what I've seen from this offense in in Miami, and I love what Miami's producing. I love NC State. I'm not ready to throw in the towel on Clemson just yet. But I look at what you're asking for of DJ Uingale. The three things that you want is consistency on throwing the football down the field, especially on third down you're not putting yourself behind the sticks by making the mental mistakes that were shown multiple times during his tenure at Clemson. And you're seeing that elevation of the ball moving down the field, just consistency, consistency, consistency. And the most part of Florida state schedule hinges on this success rate. It all comes down to what DJU provides for this offense because the pieces are there. This is one of those times where it's like having a really nice Lamborghini, but then you give the keys to a six-year-old and he's like, oh, sure, I know what I'm doing because it's just like Grand Theft Auto. And then, just, and then you're on the news and then they hear about how, you know, the kid crashed and it was the heartbreaking moment of the entire neighborhood. And he was such a good kid. You didn't need the right driver. And you're asking for DJU to be the right driver of this offense. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. That's awesome. Thank you so much. But before you leave, make sure that you hit subscribe. And if you want to check out any of our other great work, make sure you click on one of the videos here. Am I pointing at the right spot? I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm really not.